we will present the influence of window typology in daylight built environment, the case of Comandante Ferraz Antarctic Station. The authors are Marina Tomé, Daniela Marins, Cristina de Alvarez, and Andrea Laranja. The objective was to verify the amount and distribution of natural light provided by the windows of the Antarctic Comandante Ferraz station, considering the original window and testing other three typologies with the same area and proportion. The Brazilian scientific station in Antarctica named Comandante Ferraz is to be rebuilt because of a fire on its old version. This is a great opportunity to review all matters about technology and efficiency that involves architecture. Four windows were tested, all with the same area and proportion. All the results we will present the four windows and its performance. Notice the window type 1 has some peaks of light and the early morning and the cross-section graphic evidences the fair light distribution in the room. The type 2 window lower in the floor has a very interesting light distribution, but very low light levels on the working plane. Maybe it could be an option for circulations and corridors. Type 3 window also distributes very well the light, but it not permits the user to enjoy the exterior view. It's not useful for working places, maybe, for deposits area could be a very appropriate window. Final, the type 4 window suggests a well distributed curve, high entrance of light and more homogeneity of quantity in looks. Its position on the wall incentives the contact between the interior and exterior space, a luxury opportunity in the extremely cold place as Antarctic. Finally, it was picked just one time of the day and a simple graphic comes out overlapping the four windows analysis. Window 1 has a different behavior from the other windows. Considering the middle area of the graphic, the winter time, the curve shows that when we have less natural light available, the vertical shape offers less light to the interior space. On the other hand, the horizontal shape does have the opposite behavior, offering a continuous and a smooth light curve, showing best numbers in winter time which seems very appropriate for the Antarctic living and lighting conditions.